So no, the title isn't clickbait or a Chinese stereotype joke. This is the Zongua Zedantu, a 90s Chinese car made out of plastic. As you can imagine, that makes this thing pretty light. It weighs just 800 kilograms, which is about 30 kg heavier than an F1 car. Now, if you're anything like me, you're now probably wondering how this thing handles on the twisties, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. And after that, I think we're going to transplant a brand new engine into this thing and uh, make it an absolute pocket rocket. So make sure you stick around because this video is going to be an absolute blast. Oh, and thanks to Rusty Russell for doing the old cinematic behind me there. A very cool video. The link to his channel is in the description. I love his editing. Go and check him out. Bing chilling. So this is the Zagonda Zigdantu or whatever it's called. I, I, I don't know, but I think it looks kind of cool. It is very 90s. You can see those prelude headlights there, but I'm kind of a fan of those kind of uh, ugly cars, you know. I can see the beauty in them. And this car definitely is a spectacle. You can see there is a lot of window space there, a lot of a lot of real estate to see those uh, hairpins. It's got quite a long wheelbase too for a front wheel drive car. So I'm interested to see how all of this combines and uh, well, is it going to be good on the uh, old hairpins of Irozaka? Let's find out. Oh, it doesn't sound bad. It actually sounds decent. I didn't expect this from a Daihatsu engine, but we've got a nice long straight here. Let's see how she accelerates. Oh, no. I was in too high of a gear. Love it. The acceleration it still isn't great, is it? I believe this thing does 0 to 60 in about 21 seconds so it is a bit of a slouch it only has 59 horsepower and about 75 newton meters of torque so it isn't fast by any means but that isn't why this car is special the reason it's special is that it is super lightweight and that is exactly why we're here at irizaka today the uh, togo with i have no idea how many hairpins a lot of hairpins too many to count so let's see how it takes this first one. Oh, the brakes are easy to lock up However, oh, look at that turning circle. It turns on a friggin' dime. Anyway, for this next hairpin, we're going to rip the handbrake. Let's see how she handles the handbrake drift. Oh, here we go. Chuck the wheel around, and we're away. Oh, my God. This thing is surprising me. This might actually be my new favorite toge car. Look at how this thing handles. Straight through the corners. It's very agile, but there is quite a lot of body roll. You can probably see that. Oh, the front wheel drive is not coming in helpful either. Oh, the fronts uh, lose traction so easily. Oh, no, almost screwed that up. Come on, there we go. Even if you mess it up, you're going so slow, it just doesn't matter. You can correct it so easily. Oh, it does look like a good uh, tug on the old handbrake, though. I'm very surprised by this car. I am very, very surprised. So far, it is a lot of fun to drive. You wouldn't think so. Uh, just looking at the mod on race department a plastic car chinese front wheel drive but no this is a lot of fun i'll be interested to see what happens when we chuck a faster engine in it uh i'm very excited for that but let's see what time we get on this toge right now and hopefully we can beat that a little bit later when we throw a, a bigger engine in but for now let's just focus on these twisties oh yes that was the racing line. I cannot wait to look at that in the replay. That is going to look spectacular. It handles exactly how you'd expect it to. I think that's the best best way I can convey the handling to you. It, it does exactly what you'd expect when you look at the car. Oh, she likes to be revved. I never knew it could go that high up in the rev range. What's the red line? Does it have a red line? It doesn't have a taco, I don't think. It just has a speedometer. Well, that's a Chinese market for you. This thing is an absolute blast. I think I'd like to do some battles in this. Still not a red line. Was that red line right there? Yeah, how high that thing was. Sounded like a friggin' rotary. This is a lot of fun. I am enjoying this car so far. I don't even need two hands to drive it. I'm going to just do the old uh, palm grip on the wheel. Look at that. Oh, yes. Is this the new Irizaka King? Here we go. One hand, palm grip. Oh, yeah. Absolutely loved it. She likes to be revved, too. Listen to it. This thing is actually pretty nippy. Should we do a little clutch kick here? 
Oh, she likes a good clutch kick too. Let's rip the handbrake again. Can we jump this? No, we can't. Oh, we can't jump it. We cannot jump that. I would like to see a race spec version of this. If there's any modders watching, please put a roll cage in this thing. Give it some beefy tires and uh, let's see what she can do. Let's cut there. Let's how she, see how she sounds in the tunnel. Oh, sick. Absolutely sick. Let's give her a good rev now. Oh my god, listen to it. This car is genuinely surprising me. Oh, I don't think I want to engine swap it now. Now I realise it can rev this high. Oh my god, we're shifting. The big windows make it feel so much faster than it is. Rip the handbrake. Can we do a 360? No, <laughs> we fell off. Okay, now I think it's time to put a new engine in this thing. All right, so those of you that have done a lot of Assetto Corsa Toyo will recognize this engine sound. Yeah, we, we went ahead and put the 86 engine in it, like I said. I mean, I'm nervous to see how this thing handles. Hopefully, the extra speed does well, but I don't think these tires are going to cope with the extra speed. Oh, we're actually wheel spinning. Oh. We're actually doing some decent speed now. What's that, 100 kilometers an hour? Jesus Christ, I don't think we're going to survive this run. This is way too much power for this car. Oh, we're locking up so easily. Oh, the brakes are not suited to this speed. Neither is the entire car. The body roll is so immense. It just floats all over the road. Come on, don't lock up on me now. Come on, handbrake. Come on. So last time we got a uh, five minute seven. And I'm trying to beat the five minute seven. That is my one goal with the 86 engine. I think we're definitely going to beat a five minute seven with this engine. I mean, look at the speed of this thing. And it still doesn't handle all that bad. You can use your left foot brake. Just to get that rear end out. Which is pretty satisfying, although it does like a good old understeer. Right, handbrake. Oh, this engine makes this car so much better. We just need a bit of a uh, better tyre. And I think this could be the best new Toge car. You have to be very active on the wheel on those hairpins. Come on, come on, get up there. You have to brake very early because we are going to lock up. It's basically inevitable. Still can just use one hand to drive this thing. Don't need to. Come on. Turn. Turn, you bastards. Uh-oh. The brakes are non-existent with this engine. We're going way too fast for the brakes to work. Let's rev the ever-living shit out of it. There we go. Bit of weight transfer there. Yes! Oh, my God. I'm having way too much fun in this car. Way too much fun. Oh, I have more fun than I do when I drive actual driver cars. <laughs> oh. There we go. Early shift up there. And no, that is not the strat in this car. Uh oh, that's a guardrail. For the first time today, we have traded paints with the guardrail. Uh oh, too high of a gear still. Come on, we got to be that time. Even though we're crashing quite a bit, I definitely think we're going to beat at 5 minutes 7. The speed of this thing now. Oh no, you're kidding me. It's alright, we're a front wheel drive. We can get out of that easy. Rip the handbrake once again. There we go. Oh yeah, that is how it's done. Banging off the red line as we go. Oh, you need to try this out. <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Come on. In a radius of the corner there. There we go. Too low of a rev. I keep trying to uh, kick the rear end out, but I keep forgetting it's front wheel drive. Right. Let's get in some speed here. Uh-oh. Too much speed. Too much speed. All right. Uh-oh. That's a guardrail once again. I don't think uh, this car could handle anything faster than an 86 engine. I think this is the absolute peak of what it can handle. Surprisingly, I was trying to put a 2JZ in this thing before I uh, started this video, but I thought that might be a little bit too powerful for this car, and I think I was definitely right. Come on, can we jump here? 
It rose like a jump. There we go. We kind of did it. A two wheel jump. Oh, these tyres are going to be absolutely cooked. These cheap Chinese tyres. I have no idea what size they are. They look like they're about 13 inch. Can we do a little jump drift here? Should we try it? Oh. <laughs> Somehow we actually managed to get through there. Let's finish her off. Come on, what time are we going to get? It better be below five minutes. If not, I'm going to be pissed. Here we go. I have no idea where it ends, so let's just do it here. Let's try and do a 360 again. And no, absolutely not. And so there we go. All right. No way. We did a four minute 51. Jesus Christ. This thing is a bloody pocket rocket. So that was the Zagonda Zitantu, a surprisingly fun car, especially with an engine swap. If you want to try this car out for yourself, as always, the links are in the description. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure to let me know by dropping a like and letting me know what you thought in the comments. If you're new around here and would like to see more Assetto Corsa Toge content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bing chilling!